So hello guys in this video we will be discussing about the Jacobian definition for that. So if u and v are the function of x and y then determinant this determinant this whatever you are seeing no this is nothing but said to be Jacobian. Okay, so basically J, it is denoted by J, it is nothing but dou U and V, U and V are the function of X and Y, that means X and Y will be the independent variables, this will be the independent variables. Now, their determinant will give me the Jacobian of u and v with respect to x and y so basically how to write this determinant it's so simple dou u first dependent variable you have to see dependent not independent the numerator part you have to see u is there so u dou u by take this function then dou x dou u by dou y then dou v by dou x dou v by dou y the same thing u u v v x y x y the down part will be the independent variables x and y so this is the thing you need to remember that j so jacobians is denoted by j it is nothing but the determinant of independent variables dependent variables with respect to the independent variables now one more property is there that is nothing but j into j dash is equal to one this is the important property that means if i take reciprocal of this so as you can see this is j so j dash will be dou reciprocal of this x comma y by dou u comma v that means now the independent variables has been changed now u and v will be the independent variables x and y will be the dependent variables okay so the determinant will get changed dou x by dou u dou x by dou v dou y by dou u dou y by dou v so this will be the determinant for j dash now the property is that j into j dash will give me the answer as 1 this is an important property for jacobians so you need to remember this part and one more thing is that don't do the reciprocal of this as i said this will be the j dash will be reciprocal of this but the determinant reciprocal if i do this term reciprocal i'll get dou x by dou u i'm getting the first term what about the second term dou y by dou, dou u but i am not getting dou y by dou u if i do the reciprocal of this always remember you have to take the first term dou x with respect to this both you have to do dou x by dou u then dou x by dou v then you have to take the next in dependent variable dependent variable that is y so dou y by dou u dou y by dou v so i have taken here one problem that is y is equal to r sin theta x equal to r cos theta and we need to verify that j into j dash is equal to 1 and we know that where j will be dou x y x comma y by dou r comma theta okay so basically so i'll write j this part formula i'll write it so it will be easier so dou x with respect to dou r dou x with respect to dou theta then dou y by dou r dou y by dou theta so this is the formula for this this we need to find then after that j dash we need to find okay reciprocal of this so first we will look into j so it is nothing but so first we need to calculate dou x by dou r so we have x dou r will be independent variable so we need to get x in terms of r x in terms of r that you may need to check okay so we have x is equal to r cos theta we need to find dou x by dou r so x in terms of r it is given so differentiate so r differentiation will be what one so it will be cos theta next dou x by dou theta so here r is constant it will remain as it is cos theta differentiation will be with respect to theta is minus sin theta minus i put it here minus sin theta okay next next part is y is equal to r sin theta so i need to get 
y by dou y by dou r so dou y by dou r so again r differentiation will be 1 then it will be sin theta dou y by dou theta will be r will remain constant theta that means sin theta differentiation will be plus cos theta so we have got all the elements whatever is there in the determinant we just need to substitute these values over there so i'll just substitute over here dou x by dou r that is nothing but this part that is cos theta next dou x by dou theta that is this part minus r sin theta then this part that is sin theta then this is r cos theta so i need to find the determinant for this just multiply so cos theta into this cos theta into r cos theta minus here also one minus sign is there so it becomes plus okay plus i write it here sin theta into r sin theta okay how this became plus that's because cos theta this into this minus of this into this so minus minus get uh, becomes plus so here it is plus now cos theta into cos theta is cos squared theta so it becomes r cos squared theta plus r sin squared theta so from this i can take r outside that means r is common so r is equal r into cos square theta plus sin square theta is nothing but 1 so we have r as j so j is equal to this is nothing but what j this determinant will be equal to j so j we got it as r so we got j as r now we need to find j dash so we know j dash is nothing but dou r comma theta the reciprocal of this dou x comma y so how to write this dou r by dou x dou r by dou y then dou theta by dou r sorry dou x then dou theta by dou y okay this will be the determinant for j dash okay so we need to verify that j dash j into j dash should be equal to 1 this is r so we need to find j dash also so we need to find dou r by dou x so dou r by dou x we need to find so always remember independent variables is r x and dependent is r so we need to get r in terms of in terms of x remember this part suppose it was earlier it was dou x by dou r that means we got it as x in terms of r correct x in terms of r is given in the question that is x is equal to r cos theta but we don't have r in terms of x so we need to get r in terms of x and one more thing is that so we can take directly this part here but one more condition is there that means we need to find dou r by dou x as well as dou r by dou y also so here we need to find dou r by dou y also that means r in terms of y also we need to get so we need to utilize this both equation in order to get r in terms of x and y in one equation so how to get that so we'll try to find out so we'll take these two equations suppose if i square these two equations and add them so what will happen it will be x square plus y square squaring both sides and adding them so lhs part becomes x square plus y square which is equal to this will be r squaring this part r square sine square theta plus r square cos square theta now we know r square we can take it as common so it is r square into sine square theta plus cos square theta which is this part is nothing but one so we'll get it as x square plus y square is equal to r square yes or no yes so x square plus y square is equal to r square we need r in terms of x as well as y so square i'll take this side so r is equal to square root of x square plus y square so i got r this is not the answer 
So R in terms of X and Y in one equation itself. Yes, so now we need to get one more thing. We need to find dou theta by dou X as well as dou theta by dou Y. That means I need to get theta in terms of X as well as Y. So what I need to do, these two equations are there. If I divide these two equations, so let us see. So this is the first equation, I'll write it somewhere. So dividing these two, so y by x is equal to r by, so r sine theta by r cos theta. So what it will be? y by x is equal to r r get cancelled, it will be tan theta. You can take vice versa also, but the thing is that tan will become cot. So it's better you can take tan itself. Now, x y by x is equal to tan theta, but we want theta in terms of only x and y. So tan I can take that side. So this becomes tan inverse of y by x is equal to theta. So this will be the equation of theta in terms of x and y. So this will be the second equation. We have the first equation here. This is the second equation. Now we need to find this whole, all the terms in the determinant. Now let us just calculate this part. So we have dou r by dou x, dou r by dou x, okay? Now r is this one. So dou r by, with respect to x, we need to differentiate. What is square root of x? Suppose square root of x differentiation will be 1 by 2, 2 into square root of x. So we need to apply the same thing here. That means 1 by square root of x square plus y. 2 is there. 2 into square root of x square plus y square. But the thing is that here inside this x square plus y square is there. I need to differentiate again. That means into x square plus y square differentiation with respect to x will be this will be constant so it will be x square differentiation it is 2x okay so this 2 and this 2 get cancelled therefore i'll get x by this part now next dou r by dou y okay so again i need to differentiate the same thing with respect to y so it will be 1 by 2 into x square plus y square into differentiation of the inside part x square plus y square so x square will be constant therefore i will get y square differentiation to y 2 2 again get cancelled therefore i will get it as y by this part okay so this is the this 2 we got okay now we will go for this and this dou theta by dou x now what is theta over here this part tan inverse of now we need to find the form we know the formula differentiation of tan inverse x what is that 1 by 1 plus x square this formula you need to remember tan inverse x form differentiation will be 1 by 1 plus x square okay differentiation now so we need to differentiate so it will be 1 by 1 plus x square what is x over here? y by x. Observe here, okay? Tan inverse y by x. So it will be y by x, the whole square. But the thing is that we need to differentiate again the inside part. So it will be into y by x differentiation with respect to x. Therefore, y will be constant divided by 1 by x differentiation will be minus 1 by x square. So I'll repeat it. 1 by x differentiation will be minus 1 by x square okay so y is constant and minus 1 by x square will be there so this is the part so you, you need to be careful while doing the differentiation now the last part that is dou theta by dou y so with respect to y i need to differentiate again the same thing will be there so 1 by y by x the whole square into inside part with respect to y i need to do so y by x differentiation with respect to so i'll just do it over here so y by x differentiation with respect to y what will be there so x will remain constant y differentiation will be one so it will be one by x okay so this is the thing so we got all the terms correct all the terms we got now just we need to simplify few these two terms we need to just simplify and just rearrange and we'll put it over here 
So I'll just simplify dou theta by dou x. We got it. So I'll just simplify this term. So this will become minus y by x square divided by this I'll take LCM x square plus y square divided by x square. This x square, this x square will get cancelled. It it is y minus y by x square plus y square. Okay. So just note it down. This part dou theta by dou x we got it this side as this. Now one more thing is there dou theta by dou y. So in that case, so what it will be there? So we'll simplify this part also. That is dou theta by dou y also. Okay. So it is the same thing. One by x. Divided by x square plus y square divided by x square taking LCM. Now the thing is that here it is x and here it is x square. So I can just cancel one x one x here. So it will be equal to x by x square plus y square. So guys, I have written all the terms over here. What have we found out just now? So I need to just replace in this determinant. So it will be uh, dou r by dou x. This part. So it will be x by under root of x square plus y square. Next, dou r by dou y. It will be y by under root of x square plus y square. Next. Dou theta by dou x that is that part minus y by x square plus y square. Dou theta by dou y it is x by x square plus y square. So observe carefully here. Before multiplying, you can just multiply directly and find out. Before that, we can do one more thing. Here in this row, you can observe that denominator is the same. Here also is the same. So you can just take out this denominator outside. Yes. So I'll just write it as one by. Under root of x square plus y square is common, so I will take it outside. And one more, from here also it is common, so one by x square plus y square is also common. Now the determinant becomes x, y, minus y, and x. Now it is quite easier. Now the thing is that here we need to just simplify this. So we'll solve this part. This is x into x. What is x into x? X square. X square minus of y into y it is here one more minus is there so plus y square so this will become so 1 by under root of x square plus y square into 1 by x square plus y square into this is x square plus y square plus observe here minus sign is there one more minus is there so it is plus so this two terms get cancelled. This terms will get cancelled. So what is the remaining term? 1 by under root of x square plus y square. Observe here carefully. This part r is equal to under root of x square plus y square. So it is the same thing. So I can write it as. So j dash is equal to. It is 1 by under root of x square plus y square. Which is nothing but 1 by r. Okay. So as we can see, j dash is 1 by r. What was j? j was r. Correct? j is r and j dash is 1 by r. Therefore, we can say j into j dash will be equal to 1 because r into 1 by r is equal to what? 1. Yes or no? r into 1 by r is equal to 1. So therefore we have verified this 